Now, let's start this exercise curving and warping text on the iPad using Affinity Photo version 2. So it's really easy to start this because we're only going to use a temporary document. So we just open a new document. Now I've already got a preset named postcard. It's six by four, six inches by four inches. That's all we need. Don't need to worry about margins or anything, although it's got small margins there. Click OK and let's open the document up. Now there we go. We've got a blank document. As you can see there's nothing on there yet. But what we want to do is to start with, now remember this is on an iPad, an iPad mini, which is what I've used for just about all of my videos, certainly the iPad ones, on this channel so far. They're very versatile and I'm waiting patiently for the next model to come out. Now let's put a rectangle in here. Don't need to worry about the colour, although you can make it any colour you like really, but I'm just going to drag out a rectangle and we want it about that size I think. Now I'll select the move tool, make sure snapping is on. Now move that to the centre, there we go, that's in the centre. Now that's all we want for that part so far. Now all we've got to do there is go to the toolbar and convert to curves. Now you can see that's converted to a curve and it says so there now in the layers panel. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put some text in that, in that rectangle. So we go to the left hand side again, select the artistic text tool, but in this little idea, what you do first is the curve box. Well, they call it a curve, but it's actually a rectangle. <laughs> okay, now I'm using an Apple Pencil, so you can get a very fine pointer on this. And just touch the blue line. Now, what I want to do is touch the blue line up near the top here. And you can see there's now a green rectangle and a red rectangle down towards the bottom. That green rectangle is where the text will start because we're going to put text in here. So let's make this text hmm, American Horror Story. And it's the promo version of it. Let's make that 17, 20, 23, 24, 25 points. That'll do for a start. And I'm going to put the word Lisbon in there. Now you can see that's upside down. Well, the trick with this is now that we've got that you can adjust where you put that by moving the green triangle. You can see where I've got that now. And along the bottom, oops, too far. So we've got to move the red line, the red triangle, and we'll put that that's about the center, I think. Now we we'll make that bigger, 25, 26. Let's just enlarge that. We can enlarge, we do want that a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Now, let's just move that along a little bit. If you want to get really picky about this, then you can put some guidelines in there so you can find the center. Now you can see it's sitting on the bottom line there. I'll use the move tool to make sure that's there. Go up to the move tool and bring the box down. Now it sits right on the top of that text, which is not so bad, I guess. There we go. Now we've got the text centered. And that's a good place to start it. Now this is all curves, remember. The word Lisbon is in a, not a text box anymore, but it's in a curve. Now we want to move this, but don't touch the corner things. We want to put the bend in it. Select the node tool from on the side there, from the toolbar on the side. And very carefully, this is where it probably wouldn't hurt to have a guide in the middle so we can see where the exact center is. 
but you just take hold of the line and move, slide the line up. Now, being careful that you're on the same point, touch the bottom line and you can see I've just moved that line. You can see that node to the side there. Uh, maybe I was holding on to that one too tight. There we go. We don't want a node in that corner if we can help it. So don't press it too hard. You just lightly bring that up. And there it is. Now it hasn't put a node in there. Very light pressure to take that up. Now you can't alter the side ones, the two, the four dots, one, two at either end, because that will alter the the shape of the whole thing quite considerably. So there's your text in a curve. You can see that there. It's still in the curve, and there's I've just touched the artistic text tool again. Let's go and see if we can put in some guides. So I'll get that out the way. The guide settings, we want a vertical guide. Now that's automatically places it right in the middle. So L-I-S-B-O-N, it's not quite in the centre, is it? The word Lisbon. So now that our text, artistic text, now we go select that again. And that's got it. Now, don't touch the screen with your finger, Robert. Let's put the L-I-S-B-O-N. I'm just moving the little green triangle slightly so that the word Lisbon is much more centred there. Can you see that? L-I-S-B-O-N. Very difficult to get that exactly centred, isn't it? Because where the vertical dots are for the box, that's not exactly the center of that of the word Lisbon because the shape of the text. So you have to sort of squint your eyes and get that looking really nice. Now there we go, we just touch that. Touch anywhere outside the square and that's gone. Now we want that guide off because that's really... Um, There we go, turn the guides off. And there's our word Lisbon, slightly curved. Now that we've got Lisbon in a curve in the center of the screen, um, and we've done our curved text, let's have a look at warping an image in Affinity Photo version two on the iPad as we're going. Now what I need here is an image directly from the stock studio and I want an image that's evocative of Lisbon now there we go there's a nice little yellow tram so we'll just drag that over there onto the onto the um, palette and obviously it's way too big so we'll go to the transform studio Make sure that the link is on and this is a 6 by 4 inch so 15 is no good. Now what we want here is the width of 4 inches. No, you can see the anchor is in the wrong place so the image goes off the screen. So I've backtracked on that, put the anchor in the center. Now we'll go to four inches and there's our image there let's squeeze that in so we can see what we're doing now i want the height of four inches that's the height of the palette that we've got there that's much better now i've got the move tool selected so we'll move that over to one side I'll put the snapping on so we can see the red and green borders. We know it's exactly on the side, but it's covering up Lisbon. Now, what we've got to do is go to 
the filters studio and we're going to add a live filter now a live filter is non-destructive it means you can alter the image without actually without actually altering the image if that makes sense now what we want here is the one here called mesh warp that's just got the tram selected so I gently touch the sidebar there and drag it in and now you can see I've warped the image the tram is still not too bad but the the word Lisbon is now uncovered let's go right through that again get rid of that all together there's the image selected the move tool there so we've got that image selected the image is selected there now we go to filters We've got live filters set to on and we select mesh warp and you can see there that it's a it's a child of of that so now we go to the very lightly touch on the sidebar and just push that in and that looks really good now so let's collapse that layer so we've got that layer you can see how it hasn't actually affected the photo it's just put a mask over it and that's that white layer now let's see if we can put something behind that so that Lisbon stands out and it's not on just a black text on a white border we could put an image behind that let's see if there's another decent image in there now we're still we've still got Lisbon there's trams there's a city now there's a, a cityscape let's drag that one onto there and again we go to the transform studio make sure we've got that selected and it's 20 inches the height we only want four inches and there it is there now you've got sailing boats and things there we don't really want that do we so move that down we've got the image there put the image below everything else now there you've got a nice postcard simple as that really now that's nice Lisbon the city in the background and the iconic trams in the foreground slightly distorted or warped if you like so that you can see it okay that's all there is to this exercise I hope you enjoyed it and it opens a world of possibilities to you go ahead make my day Subscribe.